Hello friends, nice to meet you through this video cast. We've been saying about uh, what the Lord is sending His Word every week and uh, it's been a blessing to so many people, especially the prophetic word the Lord has been sending. The Lord has been fulfilling it in awesome ways and today for this month God has something very special. It's a prophetic word. Amos chapter 9, verse 11. In that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen, and close up the breaches thereof. And I will raise up his ruins, and I will build it as in the days of old. Tabernacle is actually a tent. I know we've all seen, I'm sure we've all seen, Tents. In the Bible, tent, it talks about a place where a man lives or even it, it talks about a, f a family living under a tabernacle like the people of Israel. It also talks about the tent uh, wherein sheep and the cattle, livestock are kept like Jacob kept his livestock in tents. So tent means your personal life, talks about your family, talks about your profession and uh, this tent we see here it's fallen down. Now what happens when you're inside a tent and it just falls over you, you can actually suffocate. Suffocation is a very difficult thing. Something like when I was a child uh, or I was a little boy, I was asked by my friends to go for swimming when I didn't know swimming. They said, they'll teach me. And they took me to the beach and here uh, I was in the waters and then I lost my balance and I was sinking and I was suffocating. I was, I even gulped a bit of water. And that's a very, uh, very difficult moment. It's a very, you feel your, your chest is so tight, your you're shocked, you're shaken. So it talks about spiritual suffocation, a place where someone is really gasping, someone is really don't know what they're going to do. And God says, your tent has fallen and you're suffocating, but I'm going to pick it up and put it on its place and I'm going to establish it. Isn't it amazing? Only God can do that. God says, I'm going to live that life which you are just living. You're, you're, you're broken down, you're broke, you've fallen down, but I'm going to lift you up. That's the word God's sending you this month. And I'm going to lift you up high. And I'm going to establish you. I will build you as it in the days of old. Now how does God does that? Or how does God do that? Uh, if you go to Job chapter 39, uh, from 27 to verse 30, because of time, I'm not going to read that scripture, but I would want you to please go and read Job 39 verse 27 to 30 talks about uh, eagle an eagle three things about an eagle eagle is one of the most awesome creatures that God has made it always flies so high eagle eagles can even fly up to heights where pilots have sighted eagle from their flight uh, cabins. So it's an awesome bird which really goes to the heights. God says, I will pick you up. I'll remove your suffocation. I will take you to heights. I'll establish you. I'll make you breathe the breath of freedom once again. Now, how does he do that? Three things we see in the life of an eagle. Number one, it puts its house on the mo mountain top. Now that means you go and wait on the Lord. 
Moses waited on the Lord the mountain top Jesus went to the mountain tops and spent time in prayer so every day make it a decision no matter whatever you're going through spend time with God every morning don't ever get out of your room out of your house without spending an hour in prayer and reading the bible i can make all the difference in your life then you read in that portion in job chapter 39 verses verse 29 it tells that um the eagle looks at its prey right from its place where it is so when you wait on the lord god's going to show you his awesome things his revelations from his word god will give you insights so when you wait on the lord don't keep thinking about your problems open your heart open your mind open your spirit to receive from god what god is showing you we might have 100 problems all around us Jesus said in this world you have tribulation but he said be of good cheer for I'm for I've overcome the world so focus not on your problems focus on the things of God that's going to make all the difference colossians 3 verses 1 and 2 set not your mind on things which are beneath but set on things which are above which are the things that God shows you from his word and even in visions even through the revelations and that will make all the difference and finally was 30 of job 39 gives us the third thing which the eagle does it it drinks the blood of the slain in other words number 3 that blood talks about the blood of jesus jesus was crucified for you and me so declare the power of the blood if you are a child of god if you are a christian if you are a believer there's power in the blood even if you have done things which are not right today is the day you can tell the lord lord i repent of my sin wash me with your blood and he will wash you with his precious blood but then you confess the powerful blood of jesus declare the blood upon your life upon your family say the blood of jesus christ is victorious sprinkle the blood upon your profession upon your going out your coming in and that blood it will set you free zechariah 9:12 the scripture says by the blood of the covenant i will lift you out of waterless pit the blood can pick you from your fallen condition and bring you into restoration confess the blood of Jesus there's more power in one drop of blood than in all the armies of the world put together there's so much power to defeat failure in your life defeat satan in your life by the power of the blood so may the lord bless you and hold on to this promise god is telling you i will raise your tabernacle once again and will establish it he's going to do it He's going to pick you up. He's going to give you the breath of freedom. You're going to breathe freedom once again. If you receive it, say amen. And let me pray with you. Father, I pray that you bless my dear friend who watch this video and who's praying with me. May these words come to pass in his or her life. I pray that this day you will pick them up. from their fallen estate and make them again stand and breathe freedom every spiritual suffocation will leave in Jesus name they will no more suffocate I also curse every disease sickness pertaining to lungs asthma tuberculosis wheezing breathlessness whatever it is i declare healing every allergy concerning to breathing will vanish in the name of Jesus i receive healing i sprinkle the blood of jesus upon this person thank you for you have healed this person this dear friend thank you lord in jesus name amen thank god for he has done it god bless you amen share this video with your friends 
maybe the Lord will bless someone through you.